So you want to start cosplaying, but you aren't sure where to begin. Well, this video will give you five steps to help you get started. Step one, pick a character. Choose one of your favorite characters that you want to channel and become. It could be someone from one of your favorite movies, books, or video games. Anime characters are a massive subgroup of cosplay. You could take inspiration from anywhere. If you're wondering how you might go about it, give Google Images a search for some inspiration. Quite often you'll find that seeing other cosplays and talking to fellow cosplayers will really get you motivated to throw something together for the next event. My first character was Twisted Fate from League of Legends. I always loved those magical card shark characters like him and Gambit from X-Men, and seeing that there weren't too many people out there doing him, I felt really inspired to give my take on him. It just makes sure that it's somebody that you love too. Step 2. Start planning. How will you make this character? Will you build it yourself? Or will you buy or commission it? Maybe a combination of both. Do you want hyper accurate or your own style? Possibly somewhere in between. What will you make it out of? What's your budget? How soon will you need it? These are the questions that every cosplayer asks when starting a project. I will be addressing in depth the controversy around buying or building in another video, but my personal stance is that so long as you wear a costume and you are playing with the character, you are a cosplayer. So make sure you plan ahead so that you have it ready in time for your next event. Buying from sellers online can have unreliable wait times and sometimes years in advance, so make sure that you know what you're committing to. My costumes are often a mix between realistic and my own style. Sometimes I'll use patterns from others and sometimes I will make my own. Step 3. Join some groups. There are plenty of cosplay costume and prop groups out there and they are great ways to learn new techniques, connect with other creators, and share your own cosplays. I'll leave a link in the description for some groups that I feel are extremely valuable to makers like the Replica Prop Form or the Pepicure Library. There are also plenty of social groups out there, and though there can sometimes be a bit of drama out there, a lot of people are friendly, accepting, and would like to make new friends. Maybe you, as a Superman cosplayer, can find your Batman out there. Cosplay is always more fun with friends, so the more, the merrier. Step 4. Attend some events. Conventions are the number one way cosplay is known and a surefire way to meet friends, learn new skills, and of course, enter competitions. For a few, competitions are what they live for and work their hardest towards. For others, it's an opportunity to show off the hard work they've put in or perform as the character on stage. And for some, competitions are simply a place to hop on stage and share one of your favorite characters with the other attendees. But aside from conventions, some cosplay groups will hold meetups, picnics, or other social events where you attend in cosplay. There might be a photographer there who will do free professional shoots for them all. Or you might just hang out and be social in costume. Some of my favorite events are the annual comic book day, where I and some friends did promotion for a local comic store. Others are charity events, where some organizations want ch characters for a children's event so they can meet their favorite characters. Cosplay events are so wide and varied, you're sure to find something that you'll enjoy. Step 5. Be you. There is so much to learn and accomplish in cosplay that you will find your first costume probably wasn't your best. But the one you just finished is a marker of how far you've come, and it gives you an idea of where you're going. I started with Twisted Fate, but today I have movable Dr. Octopus arms and in a year from now, I might have even finished my Thanos. You will find the more time you spend, the more fun you'll have. I met some of the most important people in my life through cosplay, and they have all helped me improve my own skills while I'm sure that I've helped them. But being yourself is the most important element. If someone tells you that a bot costume isn't cosplay, well, maybe it isn't, at least to them. But if it is to you, then that's great and you should keep doing it. I enjoy making characters that don't look hyper-realistic. I like having my own flair to them. You'll be much more recognizable for your unique Joker than the 1,000 other Heath Ledger cosplayers out there. Though, I do love his Joker. But if you are simply yourself, you'll have much more fun than if you, ironically, try to be someone else. So, that's five steps to get started in cosplay. 
Thanks for watching guys, and of course if you have any tips for the beginners, please post them in the comments below. I'm sorry for the slow release of videos, but I have much more coming soon. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, it's pure imagination.